yourselves a round of applause. This was a promise. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> As the, my young brother said, we started this journey 12 years ago. Uh, at that time, we didn't realize that it is a journey that will take us this far. We want to thank all our stakeholders for supporting us throughout this journey. We want to thank our chiefs in the 202 communities that our footprints are, and the numerous schools around OT, Eastern and Volta region that we operate in. I also want to thank my hardworking staff for coming along this journey. And more importantly, today, I want to warmly welcome my own CEO, and our friend Jaru and the wife for believing in our dream to educate our young ones in Ghana. In addition to constructing schools in Ghana, Pencils of Promise is engaged in teacher support program, WASH in schools. Throughout our in-service training workshops and coaching, POP has built the capacity of over 2,000 teachers to date. We have also leveraged on technology to improve teaching and learning, which has the ability to transform the educational landscape in Ghana. We have cumulatively deployed over 10,000 electronic devices in 103 primary schools located in underserved communities and impacting over 15,000 students and teachers. Our current WASH program is in 55 schools, serving over 100 teachers 
and 17,000 learners. As I've already said, we will continue to extend our work to other communities in these three regions that we operate in. We are dedicated to our mission of providing quality education to improving the life of children in the areas that we operate in. Through our collaborative efforts with local communities and governments and other stakeholders, we have made significant strides in enhancing access to education, promoting literacy, and fostering healthy learning environments. In Nuaso here, as has been said, we have looked at the pre-built structure and we are committed to the support of our brother Jaru to provide a six-unit classroom, furniture, toilet facilities, and urine house. We, I want to extend our appreciation to the district assembly and other government institutions for the support they have given us throughout our journey. We will continue to work with all of you throughout this journey as we break ground today and in the next six or seven months as we work here and we ask that the community support us to achieve our dream. Before I end my speech, I want to humbly welcome my CEO, Kylie Skills, who is here today with us and we are privileged to have her as a CEO who is also committed to the work we do to also address this gathering. Thank you very much. Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed elders, elected officials, learners, Popgana staff, and members of the Nawaso community, it is with immense gratitude and honor that I stand before you today as the CEO of Pencils of Promise, alongside the generous support of Jeffrey Atkins, Ja Rule, and his wife, Aisha Atkins. Together, we are embarking on a journey that signifies hope, progress, and a brighter future for the Nawaso community. Our presence here today marks a significant milestone, not only for the Nuaso community, but for the broader mission of education and empowerment at Pencils of Promise. As we come together to celebrate the groundbreaking of this transformative school build project at the Nuaso Angelican School, it is important to recognize that the work of Pencils of Promise extends far beyond the borders of this community. Pencils of Promise, a global education organization has been dedicated to creating educational opportunities for children around the world. With over 604 school bill projects globally and more than 200 product projects in Ghana, our impact resonates across continents, impacting the lives of countless students and communities. The significance of quality education for all students cannot be overstated. Today, as we break ground to lay the foundation for these classrooms and washrooms, we are not just constructing physical structures, we are building the pillars of knowledge and hope. Every brick laid symbolizes a commitment to ensuring that learners in this community have access to safe and high quality education. I commend the Nawaso community for your dedication and active participation in this project. Your contributions and unwavering support underscores the collective belief and the transformative power of education. The obstacles we are addressing do not define us. They motivate us to work together, to collaborate, and to strive for a better tomorrow. Together, we are not just constructing buildings. We are constructing a legacy of learning, growth, and opportunity for our children. To the students gathered here today, I say to you, this school community are not just buildings. It is a gateway to endless possibilities. Cherish your education, embrace your opportunities, and remember that you deserve and can achieve a bright future for yourselves, for your family, and for your community. I know you will make us proud. 
In closing, I extend my deepest appreciation to Ja Rule, Aisha, our partners, and the entire Nuaso community. We build a legacy of education, empowerment, and dreams fulfilled for generations to come. Together, we will pave a way for a world where every child has the opportunity to learn, grow, and thrive. Thank you. Our special guest, Ja Rule. everybody here for having me. I want to thank Kay. I want to thank Peace Pencils of Promise. This is an amazing opportunity. I'm very, very honored to be here. Happy to be a part of this groundbreaking of this new six block, six classroom block school here in New So I'm so happy to be a part of this. This came about few, maybe, uh, well, last year sometime when I sat at the Pencils of Promise um, event at the gala and they, they gave me an amazing award, an audacious, the Audacious Award. And I'm proud of that and I'm proud to be out here and have the audacity to come out here to build a school in the middle of Africa for my people. And I and I and I I know that this is gonna be an opportunity that'll last for many, many years to come. This is just the beginning of something very special. As I look out into the crowd, I see a lot of beautiful students here from 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 some of Pencil of Promises other programs, and it's really, really dope to see them. The kids that just gave those amazing, amazing poems. That's what this is about. That's what Pencils of Promise is about. And for me, education is the pillar of community. And so, with that being said, Ghana, I appreciate you all. I thank you for accepting me as your brother. <laughs> to my beautiful wife that's here with me. I also thank her. My kids that are home. I wish they could be here right now to experience this but in closing i'll just say i will be back when the school opens up to come and and speak and greet all the kids and everybody that's here man we're going to do this real big and we're going to continue to do this with pencils of promise gonna give yourselves a round of applause pencils of promise give yourselves a round of applause They are in a freestyle. <laughs> I love y'all. I'm a, you know what? For all of y'all that want to hear me freestyle. I will be at Club Ace tonight. Come on out and hang out with me tonight at the club. And I'm going to freestyle tonight at the club. And in closing, I'm going to say thank you all. And to my guys over there, I appreciate y'all, man. <laughs> I appreciate the love. Thank y'all, Bishop Promise. Thank y'all, Ghana. Much love to y'all.
Thank you very much. Good morning to everybody. Um, our Deputy Minister for Tourism, our MCE, our Director of Education, Neneme, our guest, our special guest, CEO of Pencils of Promise, the country director and Jaru. Hey. Let me say you are very welcome to Nuaso Odumasi Krobo. I am very grateful, and I must say that your coming here has placed Lower Manya and Nuaso on the world map. In fact, uh, I granted almost about uh, 20 interviews both radio and tv since yesterday just because of this move to come and help our people i want to thank you very much and i'm very very grateful i am i as a member of parliament as i've always done will continue to support your effort in whichever way to see this vision of getting our children a better place to school come to pass once again thank you very much but, and I'm very grateful. Thank you. We'll continue with a statement from the Honorable MCE of the Lower Maya Constituency, Honorable Simon Kwesi Tete. Thank you very much. I'm so happy today. And before I observe the protocols, I'm happy that my fund and my artist, when I was in school, in secondary school days, is here today. Lord, I'm happy that I'm here today. 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 I'm happy that I'm here today.
Jarule wama ngose Jarule wama ngose Oni chumi onhe wama ngose Oni chumi onhe wama ngose Ose Jaru Ye chumi ka the Deputy Minister for Tourism, Honorable Okre Kumante, the Chief Executive Officer, Princess of Promise, our guest of honor, Jeff Akins, aka Jaru, and, he, and his beautiful wife, who is seated right behind, beside him, Neneme, Manyeme, Municipal Director of Education, the clergy, heads of security agencies, distinguished invited guests, our friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, today marks yet another great day in the lives of the people of the Lower Manya Krobo as we witness the sword cutting ceremony of the construction of six unique classroom block and its auxiliary facilities. The construction of the classroom block here in the Nwaso Aglican School is going to improve teaching and learning in the school and by extension, the municipality as a whole. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the people of the Lower Manya Krobo will always be grateful to Princess of Promise and its sponsors, our guest of honor from the United States of America, who has made time out of his business schedules to be part of this important ceremony. The Princess of Promise over the years has been collaborating with the Lower Manyakro Municipal Assembly to help improve the infrastructure development in the area. I'm happy to announce to you that through this collaboration, the Princess of Promise has supported the construction of classroom blocks and toilet facilities in communities such as Obapon Jakiti, Yongwase, Ketem, Pom Arosi, Acro Basic School, Obapan, and other schools in the municipality. They have also in build, putting up capacity, have been building the capacity of teachers in the municipality and also providing support to our school children in so many ways. It is my favorite prayer that the Princess of Promise will continue to collaborate with the Lower Manyakro Municipal Assembly for more projects in the municipality. I wish to assure Princess of Promise that when completed, the, the facility will be maintained to provide the needed services to the students and teachers in the Nwaso community. On this note, I would like to conclude my address by wishing our great guest of honor, Mr. Jeff Akins, A.K. Jaru, and the wife, a fruitful stay in the municipality and for that matter, the country. <laughs>
leaders pray, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Father, we thank you for this opportunity for bringing down the ground to the school to get up. We pray that you bless the soil, you bless the hand that you make here, you bless everybody that you take part in, everything goes to be doing here. Especially our brethren from the U.S. Lord bless him. Give the Lord life and strength and good spirit. Thank you. 
I can also see some present ministers also joining in this contest occasion. I'm very, very happy with what we're doing this year. Thank you very much. Please, can we get our chiefs? So, Neneme, the procession of Neneme. After we jaru the front base, I can see some in the seashell. Okay, so, Neneme. Captain, Neneme. Neneme. Other place. Okay. So, please, let's all go to the down. We'll do the other photography down there. So, please, let's all move down there. So, Neneme, please, join in. Let's take the photograph. We are stuck and there is no way it will go on. So far as we have NMA supporting us, we know and believe that the program is going to be the day of life.